By now you've all come to know and love One Login, the credential storage space that ensures security and allows you access to all your web-based applications with just one simple click, as well as store any others for quick reference if needed. With the new fall season coming upon us, it was only fair that the increasingly popular One Login get a new fall look, and the new portal is exactly that. Today I'm excited to give you an exclusive look at the new features of the new One Login portal. Making the switch from old to new. The old portal will remain active for the next month, however, by the end of September, early October, it will be removed completely, so make the switch now. This can easily be done by going to your One Login homepage, select your name in the upper right hand corner, and then select New Portal. You'll then be whisked away into your new One Login portal. The default view will now be your top 10 most frequently used tiles, both personal and company, to give you quick access to the sites that you visit most. You can still view all of your company and personal tiles by selecting personal or company. If searching through tile pages isn't to your liking, not to worry. Simply type in the site you're looking to access in the search bar and if you have it, it will appear and can instantly be accessed. Tired of that old clicking the edit pencil icon, then clicking the tile, then entering new credentials, saving? Well, so are we. And that's why the new portal allows you to just hover your cursor over any tile and select edit in order to change the credentials in that tile or to toggle visibility to view that stored password. Another update is the new portal does away with the company catalog, where you used to have to go to get new tiles added to your One Login home screen. In the new portal, you can cut to the chase by clicking Browse App Store. Here you can view the top 10 most added One Login tiles, and also type the app tile you're looking for, and with a simple click of the plus icon, have it immediately added to your One Login home screen. If the tile you're looking for isn't showing up, you can simply submit a request through ServiceNow to the One Login team requesting it. The support team will then investigate if it can be created. Or, you can take matters into your own hands and select the plus new icon next to the don't see what you're looking for when performing a search. This will allow you to enter in the login URL, the username and password, select if it should be stored in personal or company, and even rename the tile. Keep in mind, due to flashware restrictions and things like that, there is a chance the auto login won't immediately sign you in, but at the very least you have created a storage title that you can custom name and instantly access. If for whatever reason you feel like going old school and want to access the old portal for the next month or so, you can always go to the upper right hand corner of the One Login homepage and select Old Portal from that drop down. Finally, if you are signing into One Login off the network, you'll notice a minor cosmetic change when you sign into that home screen. You'll be prompted to first enter your username and then select Next and be taken to a new screen where you will enter in your network password to gain remote access to One Login. You'll still use the same credentials you did in the past, and this will still trigger the dual authentication process on your mobile device. So get your new fall look started with the new portal in One Login today.